Heading into the 2020-21 college basketball season here at Inside Carolina, we're breaking down all the top storylines for the Tar Heels. I'm your host, Ross Martin, joined by Greg Barnes and Cheryl McMillan. Guys, this team is uh, – it's every year is a little different. This one's unique in the fact that they have a, a, a core group of veterans with Garrison Brooks, Leaky Black, Amanda Bacot's a sophomore, Angie Playtech, reserve senior, but then a bunch of fresh guys that have never played college basketball before and will be getting their first action – uh, come November 25th. Uh, Greg, when you look at leadership and how important it is to have veterans, how do you see that playing out for the Tar Heels this season? Yeah, I think the fact that you have guys like Leakey and Garrison and Playtech, uh, everything that they've been through, that'll be such a benefit for, for all these all these young guys. Um, you know, two years ago, this is the team that was the number one seed in the NCAA tournament. Mm-hmm. Uh, last year, they're 14 and 19. So they've been through the ups and downs. They understand what it takes, how, how things can spiral out of control, how things can happen when you get hot and get on a run. They know all those things, and they know what it takes. They know how to handle those situations. Um, and that's what you have to have. Um, you know, we've seen some years where, I mean, last year's a good example. You're kind of really limited with what you have uh, to help these guys along. And so I, I think just having some, some older guys, it doesn't have to be many. The fact that you have three that have played a lot of minutes and started a lot of games, especially last year, uh, that's really going to allow these young guys to come along and understand what to expect. Yeah, I mean, always UNC's best teams are always veteran laden when you look at 2005, 2009, um, 2017, with, uh, and then 2016 even with Marcus Page and Joel Berry. Um, this team a little different in the fact that the, the, the lead guards are going to be freshmen, but definitely a veteran presence with Brooks and Black. Sherelle, we've talked about how they're going to lean on last season as motivation. That kind of plays in this dynamic as well. Um, what do you see from leadership from, from Brooks in particular, and then how guys like Leaky Black, Amanda Bacot, can, can bring on these freshmen, and maybe even freshmen step up in a leadership role, because when your point guard is your leader and your hardest worker, maybe your best player, that can also be um, a big impact for the team. Yeah, I think the dirty secret is, is that you can't you know, you have to be a contributor in order to be a leader. So that eliminates some people who have experience at, at Carolina. Um, but I think Garrison Brooks is kind of perfect for UNC this year. Um, you know, talking to these guys over the last few years, almost all of them at some point say, oh, yeah, I love Garrison Brooks. I have a relationship with him, even before they even stepped on campus, just because he's so good, you know, when they come on visits and, um, you know, in the process of leading up to them enrolling at UNC. So they all have experience with him even before they even got on campus. And I think, you know, through no fault of his own, last year was Cole Anthony's team. And as a freshman, he just didn't know the rigors of college basketball, what to expect, you know, what to do when you're down 10, what to do when you're up 25, that kind of thing. And Garrison Brooks, you know, this is his team this year pretty clearly. And as Greg said, he's been through it. He's been on a team that was okay. He's been on a team that was a number one seed and that some people thought had a chance to win the national championship. And he's been on the team that had the worst record in Roy Williams' entire career. So he has the gamut of experiences, you know, all the way around to say, you know, this is what we do in this situation. I don't want to go back to last year, or this is how we become the number one seed. I was there with Kobe White and with Cam Johnson and all those guys. So I think he's absolutely perfect for this team. As far as a freshman, um, you know, if you play well enough, I think you become a leader. Kobe White was probably a reluctant leader, but he became a leader on that team just because he ended up being, you know, kind of 1A, 1B with Cam Johnson as the best player on the team. Yeah, and we and in college basketball, I mean, it's a, you know, 40-minute game. There's this less room for error and a decision here decision there in the final minutes that a veteran can make can really be the difference in the game. Last year, we saw so many games lost in the last minute, last 30 seconds. You would hope they've learned from those lessons. You have a guy that knows what to do, knows you know, when to call a timeout, when to do this and that, when to foul, when not to foul with Leaky Black, Garrison Brooks, or Marty Big Cop. Maybe that pays off this year. Go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say, especially when there's not a huge talent, uh, you know, deficit between the teams you're going to play. If you're going to if you're playing someone who has similar talent, then what are you going to lean on? You're going to lean on that experience. And that's where I just think it's invaluable for, the, for them to have Brooks. And like you said, to some degree, Black and, and Baycott as well and Playtech. Yeah, I mean, experience, veteran leadership and, and talent is the, is the key Roy Williams formula for successful teams.